everybody did, babe. I have over 200 notifications. Throw it. Chocolate milk, please. You run out of the train. Gotta get that chocolate milk. Just some camera time. Yeah. yeah, look at you. Is that better? Look at you. Oh, oh there we there's our burp. What are you thinking about spitting up again? We couldn't hit a better place, to be honest. No. There ain't nobody here, nothing. I got it. I feel I great. Like I'm hydrating awesome. My body's not hurt. I'm not cramping nothing. I'm pretty excited. See ya. I just wish I had a scale to kind of see how much weight I put back on. Uh, everybody blowing me up like Vietnam right now. <laughs> but the problem is, is like you don't know if they're going to go in there and work together just because they're both getting paid a hundred million dollars, you know? And it's not like really throwing the fight. But if but they go out setup. there and just, you know, throw hands for fucking 12 rounds, which I don't think Connor could last that long, to be honest. But I think Connor's going to miss a lot of punches. And I'm hoping Floyd will counter and set him down about round four. 
so I'm hoping round four for Floyd Mayweather. If you look at fights like Chell Sonnen versus Tito Ortiz, and you want to see, he had his back at the rear neck of Chell game, and it looks like he taps or he didn't tap, and then he comes back and wins. You got the Ken Shamrock versus, uh, who was it, Kimbo Slice, and the same thing happened. He had the whole rear neck of Chell game, about to tap him out, somehow he gets out and loses the fight and gets knocked out. It's just, that's what sucks about fights like that. You, the hype leads up, it's so good, but then sometimes you get disappointed and feel like that there was a setup to the way they're gonna have the fight in regardless. So, we'll see, I can't wait. Mike's gonna hold it at his house and we're gonna watch it over there. Big Mike is? Yeah. What is that? $90 for that fight, 90 bucks. They fight each other, and if so, I think Mayweather will just murk on it for a couple rounds and then knock him out. I cannot wait till tomorrow. I have no nerves right now, so that's super good, super pumped, super confident. I'm so happy. I feel good. I came up on the other side of the elevator, confused me. Are you gonna get some ground up there? Shout out to the sponsors. There you go. That looks good right there. Elevate 16, uh, this is the next step. You're going to be going up against Jimmy Flick. Um, you, you do have some insight. Uh, he, Levi uh, dominated him, took him out yep. in the second round. Uh, is there anything that you guys have been speaking about as far as the fight, or you just prefer just going in there and just doing what you do? Um, I respect Jimmy. I'm going to fight Jimmy. Um, mm -hmm. It's uh, being honest and frank. I, I didn't want to fight Jimmy. Um, I don't think there was as much reward fighting Jimmy. I've asked for the best prospects they got. I'm trying to go back to the UFC. Give me the best guys you got. I don't think there's anyone on the regional scene that can beat me. Um, Colin Cantrell put a post out, said, I'm beginning to think that everyone's afraid of Johnny Bedford. I saw this. I and saw this. two guys out of 90-some comments. Jimmy's good. That said we've, fight, we've grappled against each other being in a super fight. One kid um, that had a World Series of fighting, pretty one-sided um, my, my, my way. Um, and the other being Jimmy Flick. And no disrespect, but it's going to be pretty one-sided on Friday night. Um, I think that he's going to try to turn it into a wrestling match, and he's not as good a wrestler as I am. Um, I'm hoping he wants to entertain some fans and let's stand up in the middle and see who wants to fall down first because I'm really confident there. Uh, I'm a grappler, but I'm more of a striker if you watch me fight now, and I plan on staying keeping on my feet and knocking him out on Friday night for sure.
Main event action, UFC veteran Johnny Bedford and the young Jimmy Flick. What a fight this was, Matt. Look, Flick said Bedford was taking him lightly coming into this fight. Did Bedford because after the second round, Bedford's corner was really trying to urge him on, saying, look, do you want to go back? Meaning, do you want to go back to the UFC? And uh, he didn't respond real positively, to be honest with you. Flick, a guy that stayed after it, hit so many submission attempts in this, finally securing the neck of Bedford, beating the UFC vet. A huge win for Flick. Easily the biggest win of Jimmy Flick's career. Props to Fortis MMA, whose fighters went 6-0 at LFA 16. Fighting for Autism sponsor Jimmy Flick just put UFC vet Johnny Bedford to sleep ooh, in the ooh, legacy ooh. main event. Yeah. What's up everybody? Jimmy the Brick Flick here. No quit. Man came out in first round, put that pressure on him, took a little bit of beating from him, but he quit. I made him quit, dude. Pushed him hard in the second, pushed him hard in the third, and then put him to sleep, baby. That's I right, told baby. you, no quit, baby. Team Brick. Sand Springs, Oklahoma, representing Dana White. Get at your boy. All my supporters right here, dude, traveling from Oklahoma. Team Come Brick, support baby. me. Okies don't yeah. quit. Okies oh, yeah. don't Turn quit. Turn around, look at all these sponsors right here. I got the Sand Springs Elks Lodge, Hustle Sports, Acupuncture, everybody on here fighting for autism. Uh, That's right. I wish I could get Okie boys don't out. quit. Yeah. Yeah. I should have got a shirt. Team Brick. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I think we w. might do more orders because I got so many people wanting shirts. Oh, so we'll have to get you. Yeah. your shirt. They got threw it over. I was like, tell him to put yeah, his fucking shirt on, dude. And like, then that's when he came over and told me, he was like, you put him to sleep in the first. Yeah. Yeah. He, was the one he did. He did. He did. Until that fucking buzzer like, went he off. He was like, oh, shit. Oh. Yeah. He was up the first time. But then when you... Like in the back, you see my interview, and they were like, well, what do you yeah. think? I was like, I'm going to show them I'm not a 9-3 opponent. I'm going to show them I'm a 12-0 yeah. opponent, dude. Mm -hmm. Everything, dude. Everything. Dude. Way, and dude. Then, fucking topside guillotine, dude. I put it in, and I knew it, dude. When I brought it in, I was like, that motherfucker let me put it you in. You locked it up from the bottom, dude, when I saw that. But you once, you, how, once you went to the top, I knew it was done. This is how it is, man. When they come in, you just slide it across like you're sliding to get up. Bow. Once I locked it here, he had no choice but to roll. He thought he was rolling out of it. No, he was rolling to bed, man. <laughs> Where's the, I have 220 notifications on my Facebook, dude. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Dude. I came fight. up to him at the, in the back. And, and told like, me, he said, I lost. It's your turn, man. man. Yeah. So get this upset, dude. Straight yeah. Up dude, I'll work my ass off, dude. I got very little sleep. I miss time with my family. I mean, that's my little I girl, you, when my you. little girl was a week old when I took this fight, man, I, I missed out on a lot, dude, and then every time he kept sleeping on me, every time, you know, they tried to kick me off the car, too, and I was yeah. right, Steven Peterson, they told him, will you fight Johnny Bedford and we'll kick Jimmy off, he said, well, I'm not going to 135, and then that's when they called Ryan Hollis to fight at catch white 140, dude, he knew he wasn't going to tap, you know, Fuck him. He didn't have to tap. He didn't have to tap. <laughs> yeah. He didn't have to tap. He was already yeah, you got in there with the his, his pride was hurting, bro. He couldn't tap. He's going to sleep. And honestly, he was so fucking tired, dude. He went to sleep fast, dude. Yes, he did. Real fast. I start. At the start of the second, I'm screaming. He's fucking tired, dude. He's I kicked him in the face right off the bat. Oh, no, We said not to come out and do it off the bat, but I had to. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, we were hey, working that. When I called for T I said, TJ, TJ. He was like. <laughs> and then he put my mouth and switched and kicked. I was like, ah, yeah, motherfucker. Y'all be loved it. No, no, we'll sign multi fight deals. Of course we do. But the reality of it is, is that we. Our, our whole goal is to get you to the UFC or Bellator. Yeah, that's why I wanted, to, I wanted to put a show on for you. you know, oh, especially. man. Yeah, yeah. You're the man to do it. Oh, well, yeah. thank you, man. Thank man, you. it's my first time fighting in front of you. I had nothing to lose tonight. All right, we saw you on was the co-main event. I was like, Ed Suarez is right there. Yeah. Yeah. Inside the yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I came to you first, dude. Yeah, yeah, man. Did it, dude, man. I was, uh, was, uh, was impressed. Right right I was impressed. Yeah, and you know what? I, I didn't know much about uh, Bedford other than I've seen him fight in the UFC. And, and I'll be honest, I knew nothing about you, man, but I definitely left knowing who you are, so yeah, that, awesome. that mission was accomplished. Yeah, right. uh, what, what, what was the betting odds? Did you know? I didn't even know. Nah, I, yeah, didn't know. I couldn't I find a buggy, trust me, I had to put money on you. <laughs> like, yeah. I wanted to. Yeah, well, congratulations, uh, man. You should so be proud of yourself. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so just, that was a cool talk. Like, that was a cool talk, bro. Like, he just, like, shot the shit. It was like, he was like, he, I didn't know who you were, but I know who you are now. Bedford a snack, a warm glass of ass whooping and sent him to, to count, count sheep. Yeah. Oh, Johnny isn't talking shit now, is he? <laughs>
My favorite calls are from my fighters in the middle of the night, excited after a big win. Who is that from Chris? Well, this said, this why is Flick in the main event? This Does he think guy? anything different is going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> blah, 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 blah. He can't beat Johnny. This Levi. poor guy is like a sacrifice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that kid. Oh, I ate it in a bow. Hit him with that right hand, dude. I was waiting for him. He should have he at least gave you your due, man. He should have at least, you know, jumped up and shook your hand. Nothing. He has no idea the sacrifice you have to make. Devin just texted me. Yeah, that's the one in. That's right. fucking great job, man. I look, I appreciate all the help, Debbie, man. You've been there. Right, Devin? That's fucking... Man, that's awesome, bro. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. Hey. We all want to steer 20 friend requests. I can't lose my boys now. We like fucking went crazy. Oh, I'm God. accepting them all. Dude, Mike. They talked about the whole night. They booed when he got in Mike. They yes. booed. And then at the end of the fight, they were chanting flick. No, Dude, I love it. Oh, yeah. I swear to God. Uh -huh. it's, it's giving you your due, man. He's giving you props. Dude, the MMA community it's fucking so stood up and watched this yeah. shit, dude. Maybe, maybe. Wow. Maybe Congrats, the Jimmy Flick. That was a crazy choke. Dude, maybe the casual fan don't know about this shit, but the MMA community just got lit up tonight, dude. Hey. I guarantee it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I love it, dude. I wish they all could have came. Your dad just said the same thing, I love it. <laughs>